Welcome back, everybody. Well, last episode, we had our Ravengers in the pen, but then uh, one of them kind of escaped and got stuck where he doesn't need to belong. So I'm thinking maybe if I do some invisibility potions, I can get in there and kind of gently nudge him into place. Or at least make a ramp so he can get, he's, in, he's caught in that little uh, valley, to, which is supposed to protect the tourists. And he's stuck down there. So I kind of need to build a ramp for him. And also clear out the, uh, the f clear out the pin so they can't escape again. So I need to make, my, I guess this is the awkward potion. And then I need to make some night vision. What do you got, buddy? Uh, string, uh, not very good, is it? No. Oh, and I am aboard my ship. Just kicking out in the harbor with my cat. Kitty, kitty. So we should have a night vision potion. And then a little fermented spider eye. And that'll make invisibility. So that sh hopefully should help me, you know, keep me from getting killed. We'll just take a look out this side while we wait. And got my other kitty. Okay, now this potion should be done. Let's, oh, let me, uh, learn a redstone. There we go. So now I should be able to expand it so I get longer time. Now we have our long-term invisibility potions. So I'm hoping this will work. I'm not sure if it will or not. I'm thinking they shouldn't see me at all. So we're just going to fly on over here. Boy, I got quite a bit done on this area so far. So I want to get this finished soon, though, so I can go exploring. So we'll just come in here. Uh, yes, they can see me still. And you see they've got the ones caught down there. I need to get him out. So let's see if I can drag him over this way. So he's not stuck over by those ladders. Come on. Oh, there he goes. So now I take off my armor and drink the potion. I should be completely invisible. Or maybe not. Well, he seems to be following me. I can't see me. Well, I have that bottle. Maybe you can see the bottle. Let's put that away. Well, I don't like this. He's still following me. Maybe he just kind of knows where I'm at. Well, we'll see what we can do about working, working around this then. What I want... I'm just going to put a couple posts up here every once in a while. Basically every other one. And that should prevent them from hopping over and getting stuck in this uh, little ditch again. I didn't realize they were uh, such climbers. Okay, so now I can put the sand in here. I'm going to make a... Following the Egyptians, they, uh, I'll make a sand ramp so they can climb up and get out. I think that's how, you know how the Egyptians built the pyramids with a big ramp of sand. They drug those big stones up. Or was it the aliens? I can't remember who built them. So anyhow, let's uh, hold it. Wait. Oh. Oh, I think I may be safe. Okay, maybe they forgot about me. Maybe that's it. They just need to forget about me. Oh, come on. You won't go up on two. Oh, oh, dang it, those ladders are there. Well, maybe this will get them. Let's make a platform. Got plenty of sand. Now, hopefully I can get in here and get rid of the sand after I get them trapped back where they belong. There. Oh, I can't get that last one. Let's see if we can get this all figured out. So 
So I'm just going to clear out this fence very carefully. So far they don't see me. There we go. Come on. Come on. I'll just fill this in. Come on. You can get it. You can do it. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. Well, if you bump into them, they find out you're there. And they kill you really quick, so. I've gotten all my stuff, so now I, I do. Oh. I was going to fill in the fence there so we can get out. Oh, ouch. Okay, we're just going to go invisible again. Strip down. So they can't see me. Now I should be safe. So I should be able to patch up this fence and take care of everything else. Okay, that does it. We've got everything all patched up. Everything's secure. They can't get out. They're not going to be able to attack me or attack the curse. Perfect. So finally, I think we're done with these guys. Let's sort of take a look. Yep, I got both of them in there. They're all just kicking back, enjoying themselves. And they can't see me because I'm invisible. I'm just going to plant this flower there again. There we go. Safe and sound. They're not climbing over anything. They're not trying to get to me. Well, they're trying to get to me, but they're not going to make it. Perfect. All I need to do is uh, do a little patchwork. And I should be uh, done with these guys, finally. Well, after all that frustration those ravengers i decided to take a little time out to just uh, clean up my chicken farm here and actually these are all the chicken eggs i've just been collecting and i've been throwing them all the way over here in this area and i've got quite a few chickens going through here so kind of nice to be able to beat up on something other than getting beat up as i have been the last couple episodes And next up, I've decided I want to put a little road here on the back side of the Ravenger pen. It doesn't really go anywhere. Well, it will go someplace, and we're actually going to build that today. In this corner over here, I've decided I want to build a weapons shop. I'm just going to scout out the size. Mm, let's see. Maybe like that. Of course, I didn't count the number of blocks across here. So I'm going to build two buildings here. and Probably should make them about even the same size. Let's see. Do, 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 count, count. Let's see. Let's just put it right about there. So that's one building, and then we'll do a little two or three block wide alley there in between the two buildings. Okay, now at the foundation, I'm going to put in the floor. This is going to be kind of a darker build. Um, I've got some dark oak for the walls with little highlights, you know, just plain stone highlights on the corners. And then on the inside, the floor is all going to be uh, black stone and cracked black stone bricks. I don't know if more rustic or warm, but more of a working man shop. 
So this is going to be one of those places that just has all the different types of weapons and stuff. Not really a blacksmith area. This is just where you sell, where you buy them. Or they're going to sell the tools they'll make at the blacksmith, wherever that is. And I'm just going to put, let's see, put these stone here and there. And then the walls are all going to be dark oak logs. So we're just going to have an open door there. Let's put a, like that will be the wall. And there, I'm not even going to make the wood. I'm just, I'm going to leave it with the, uh, so you can see the ends of the logs. Just go all the way around. It's actually kind of going, kind of going to be that's not English, is it? It's going to be more of an open build with bigger windows in it. But the heavy, the heavy logs kind of weigh it down. But then I want to make it more wide open. So a lot of this is going to be window. I think I'm just going to have the corners up and then the rest of it's all going to be basically a window or some kind of window window type dressing not all glass i think i'm going to mix in some uh maybe some iron bars and some fence posts but i do want the windows too high so we're just going to drag logs all the way across so I, it kind of makes it a little heavier on top but this is a real sturdy building anyhow. And there. And there. And then across the back. Oops. Oh, I forgot this site. That gets us started. Well, first, so let me add a little bit of dirt in here. And then these are the windows. So we're going to put iron bars here. And then in the middle is going to be glass. And I think on the back, I'm going to break it up a little bit. Put the fence there. Oops. And then we'll do the bars and then some more glass, I think. I don't know if I want that big of a window, maybe just two smaller windows. The bars kind of create a faux window with the wind because you can see through them. So you don't get the wide open, but you still get, it still looks more airy and open. And I think on the front, I'm not going to do bars. I'm just going to do the fence. Because these are smaller windows anyhow. Okay, finally we're up here on the roof. I decided, I think I want to go, I think I'm going to go with a uh, jungle wood. So I don't want to do stone because that's kind of, yeah. Uh, but I thought this would give it a lighter look on top. Not too much of a contrast. I don't want anything white or anything, but I think it'll go. That's going to be a simple, just a peaked roof. So we're going to. Go up each side, and then on the ends, I'm going to have those uh, the fence in there just to kind of fill in the ends of the building. We'll just put these across here. 
pick up stuff. And then, like here, I'll just put another uh, fence post or wall, I guess it is. And then go across. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side to match at the top. And put, probably put a little capstone something on top there. So I got the roof done. I think it came out rather nice on the inside. And then I think the flat front here is too flat. So I'm going to stick out a, a little porch. And then we're just going to come down and put a couple risers on it. Maybe some uh, like a block, block, and then a fence post. Mm, I don't like I don't like that fence poster, I don't think. Let's see what it looks like after the roof is on. You know, it's too too skinny. I really wish I widened this road up. The road was a widened one and the house was pushed back one. I think it would look a lot better. And then the inside, I've uh, just gone through putting in some beams. And then I'm going to need some lighting. And I think I can get away with lighting on the ends with the new uh, mechanics. Just waiting for those yellow X's to go away. And they do. And then I just need to lay out the store on the inside here. So this is going to be this the uh, checkout area or the cash register right there. And then we'll just put the stained and then checkout counter all the way around. And then I'm just dressing it up with some uh, trap doors there. Kind of makes it nice and neat. And then I need to put in some counters to display my merchandise. Like my swords and axes and stuff. So I'm just going to put these all the way around the back wall here. Get rid of those two. And I do, I don't need the lighting, but I do need it for aesthetics. I think it was going to look better if I've got some kind of lights hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better that way. A few more item frames and then I've got a bunch of tools that I'm going to start putting into these item frames. So I figure like a war axe, a trident, I'm going to put a sword and some bows and stuff. And some of the crossbows I picked up on my <laughs> ravenger hunt. So just a wide variety of tools, tools, mainly weapon tools, no shovels and stuff, just axes and swords and pickaxes, or not pickaxes, uh, tridents and that kind of stuff. And there we go. Have to get them laying the right way. And then I just put a final book in there. And we are done.
Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh. Ooh. I gotta stay away from those guys. Those are dangerous. Okay, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.